for us young YouTubers, because I've developed a, a thing called the Mastermind Group, where mm-hmm. we find, we basically getting together, we're talking, we're looking at the market, we're trying to understand YouTube, trying to understand analytics, but we have now come up against what we're seeing, where it's like, you know what, we came in here to help men, but it's like, wait a minute, we can't get on the side of all women, you know, because we're seeing too many too many things. They're going into two extremes. Like, you know, they'll still somebody will say, uh, men got to have six figures. All of a sudden, the whole freaking YouTube male planet got six figure income. I'm like, wait a minute now. Y'all don't have no six figure. You can't. Somebody's lying. Yeah, yeah somebody's lying. Right. Yes. Or all of a sudden, TLA say, well, let's explain prenups. Not every man want a prenup. It's like, Dude, what would a woman want if you working at McDonald's? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Do y'all understand what a prenup is? Um, yeah. Then you get these dudes like, oh, she got a child. Okay, nobody, I ain't date nobody. And it's like, where are we coming up with these extremes? You they've, know, so I, I, I'm trying to understand that they've taken the dating pool and they've turned it this big, and then they're and they're trying to figure out why they're having difficulty finding women. You know, because you 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 basically priced yourself out of the market mm. you look i get what guys are saying about the single mother thing but the thing that they don't want to realize or even think about is you might actually come across a woman that has a kid that's a good woman you know it, it's just the situation just is what it is when you have 70 some percent of black women you know out of wedlock birth or whatever it's going to be kind of hard for you to find women to date that don't already have children. And that's a failing of culture, you know, that, that, that has taken place where that has been popular, popularized, you know, and then women have basically doubled down on it. Like, I'm not going to let you shame me because I have a kid. Mm-hmm. So it's like you have two groups attacking each other. And it's like, you know, you're never going to come to any type of solution. And, and the thing, the thing about the single mother thing that annoys me it's just like if a guy says, okay, I'm a single guy. I don't have any kids. I don't really want to raise anybody else's kids. It's like, okay, cool. That's fine. I get that. That's your decision. You're well within your rights. But why are you going to talk shit about somebody else who doesn't have a problem with it? Especially right. when you're complaining about the fact that there's a lack of fathers in the home, which is the result of the community being the way it is. Well, if there's a lack of fathers, you shouldn't care if one guy decides to take on 20 people's kids, you right. know, because that's needed. So if, if you're not willing to dive on that grenade, why are you mad if somebody else is willing to dive on it? it? It really doesn't make any sense to me. How do we, how, for, and again, you're going to always hear me, at least in this beginning part, emphasize, because um, you're speaking to a lot of people that did come out that TLA Wayne. You're speaking to men that is saying, hey, we don't, we don't see the balance. So we want to now get in. How would you say for us to really get in this fusion and get in between this argument as you have seemed to have done so successfully. Well, anybody that's coming from, and you said TLA, so I'm assuming lead attorney, right? Yes. Yes. Anybody- See, when the lead attorney brought us in, his mm-hmm. his major argument, um, and you can hear it echoed over and over, is, hey, guys, all of y'all that's 40 and up, look, the Manosphere needs you. 40 and up. They need your, you know, they need your background with your professionalism. They need this. They need that. You know, come on in and let's and let's and let's get this started. And that's what basically many of us did. You know, he elevated the game, made sure that we, you know, came in with good equipment and all this other stuff. Yeah. And then like you come in and it's like, OK, where's my space? Where's my part? And then you you start really working. And it's like, well, wait a minute. Some of these parts don't make sense, especially when you can't relate to it in your own life. Well, anybody that's coming from a lot of these spaces and, you know, I like a lot of people joke about me knowing or seeing everything, whatever, like so on some all seeing eye shit is it's not that I know everything. It's just that people will tell me this. Go check out this person. Go check out. I get so many freaking emails with people telling me to go check out certain people and see what they about, you know, because right. they kind of look at me like I'm some sort of damn uh, like some sort of sentry for the man. Like I'm. Like I'm the attack dog. So whenever somebody comes in that they don't like, it's like angry man, go, go, go check that person. You know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, I'll look and see what people are talking about, but I'm not a rigid guy when it comes to people's ideologies. I'm willing to listen and, and, and get what your point of view is. And 
as far as what I see with guys like TLA and, and those that, you know, guys like Anton Daniels, guys like the Lapeef Network, all of those different guys coming into the space. The one thing that you got to do, regardless of whatever your content is, you got to show that you have empathy for the men in the space. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of guys here that are, I don't want to say hurt. Because that would be uh, that would be diminishing it. There's a lot of guys here that are tired. Okay, like they're tired of the narrative that black men ain't shit. Mm-hmm. Like they're tired of it. they're they're sick of it. They're sick of every time they come to a panel and it's women. The women are talking over them. The women are are telling them you better respect me. And, and and they're not allowed to voice how they feel. And they don't get it twisted. There's a lot of bad apples running. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They engage in a lot of foolishness. But there are a lot of really intelligent, really well-meaning brothers. There's even a lot of brothers here that are married, that have mm-hmm. successful relationships. And those guys get overlooked a lot. Now, they found a home on my channel because... I don't talk down to them because they're married or make them feel like it's something wrong with being married or, or one day your wife is going to leave you and take all your damn money. And I, I realized that that is, you know, some of these guys, they got money with their wife. Right. So if wife did leave. She, of course, she's going to get some of the money. She helped you get the damn money, you know, right. so, right. you know, but these guys, they're, they're obsessed with these, with these stories like, uh, uh, Dr. Dre and Bezos and all of that. Like, man, you don't have that kind of, so just cut it out. Right? right. But, you know, that that's really the biggest thing. Really, the biggest thing is being able to connect with a lot of the guys that are already here and and not allow them to feel like because I'm going to tell you what they think and I'm going to tell you how they feel. Like, Because a lot of you guys that are coming from T- TLA, coming right. from Leaf, y'all are a little bit older. Y'all have more experience. A lot of y'all have uh, a little more success than some of these guys. So. They feel like it's, oh, they're going to come and tell us what to do. That's that's the vibe that they're giving off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And me personally, I don't view it that way. I view it as the space is just getting bigger. It's, mm-hmm. it's just getting bigger, which means there's going to be more people. There's going to be, it's kind of like hip hop back in the day. When hip hop first came out, it was only one type of rap. Right. But got bigger. You had all of the different factions. You had all of the different types of rap. And... You let the people decide. You let them decide what they want to listen to. And there's room for everybody. So, you know, my thing is, I think that you guys can definitely add to the conversation. Mm-hmm. But there has to be like, I, I watched one of the lead attorney shows where he was talking about the Manosphere meetup. And he was like, these guys are talking about a fist fight and this, that, and the third. And and it's like, it, it ain't that serious. Trust me. Like, dudes right. are not going to go to an event. <laughs> And get into a fight because it, it there's not a lot of guys in this space that really are built that way because most guys that are built that way are not internet guys. They're they're not gonna be on the internet like that. They don't even most of those guys don't even like having a Facebook page. Right. So, you know, it's it's not that serious. It's just there's a bunch of guys here, there's a bunch of egos and Dudes are gonna have to learn how to get along and 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 do it for the sake of business and for the sake of black men having media and having a voice. Mm-hmm. You know, that's really what it is at the end of the day. 